in the name of God, the most compassionate and the most merciful. Let us thank him for bringing us all together for one more Ramadan. It's indeed inspiring to see some returning and many new friends, particularly at a time when the nation is suffering with the rapidly growing malaise of Islamophobia. This is worse, I think, than H1N1. <laughs> People although look healthy, at least unlike in H1N1, but they are in fact grievously sick. I am deeply indebted tonight to my dear brother Archbishop Havnand Radarian of the Armenian Diocese for gracing us tonight. Not many may have thought a high priest of the Armenian Church will join this Ramadan gathering. So let us take a moment and celebrate this milestone in the interfaith relations in Southern California. Thank you so much. I am also equally grateful to my brother, Reverend Norm Copeland, the ever young looking elder <laughs> of the AME Church. And of course, my dear Rabbi Klein, an emerging young Jewish leader whose fierce advocacy to secure the rights of overworked and underpaid workers is becoming talk of the town. Few people who are new, who are attending this event for the first time, I'd like to recognize the U.S. Army Major General, General Frank, and his entire team. Welcome to the Shura Council dinner. God bless you for taking time out and being with us. It just so happens that he happens to be sitting on my right, and on my left is the elected uh, Orange County Sheriff Sandy Hutchins. Them sitting on my right and left has nothing to do with politics, it just so happened. <laughs> I also like to welcome uh, Randy Parsons, the new TSA chief for uh, Greater Los Angeles Airport and the Los Angeles airports, in fact. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. <laughs> I also like to particularly recognize the leadership of the Temecula Interfaith Council whose principal leadership has helped engender a discourse that I believe is more useful for our nation than the painfully entertaining news of the day. Friends, we thank you. Thank you much. From the President of the United States to all of you, my dear friends, thank you for upholding the values of your faith and reaffirming the enduring value of religious freedom in America. We say thank you, thank you for your support, and thank you for your solidarity. But our work remains unfinished, important, and urgent, because majority of America continues to believe in selective religious freedom today. This must change, and until then we cannot rest. We cannot rest because our work for equal human dignity for all people remains unfinished. Recently, many of you transcended your faiths, joined hands, and embraced the universal idea of equal human dignity and traveled from Los Angeles to Phoenix to meet with the Honorable Sheriff Joe Arpaio and to help him see his world with your pair of eyes. Although he chose not to meet with you, but he did hear your message loud and clear from the steps of his state capital. And of course, we cannot rest until the Christian bell and the Jewish shofar, the Buddhist chant and the Muslim adhan proclaim together that in the end, we all are one people glorifying one creator and striving together for the good of all of us. Striving, by the way, is translated in Arabic as jihad, so I declare all of you as jihadists <laughs> beginning tonight. My friends, as each year we get together, we celebrate our fellowship, we hold each other in arms, and we say, Salaam Alaikum. Peace be unto you. And I say to you the same tonight, may we all be blessed in abundance with peace and blessings, and may we continue to strengthen our fellowship and deepen our resolve 
to stay and struggle together until we reclaim the voice for the voiceless and restore the dignity of the helpless from New York to California and everywhere in between. Thank you so much.